Hey, Michael, really nice to be uh, having this conversation with you. Um, I must say, much like the Institute for Real Growth and myself, you've been involved with uh, Jeremy and Peace One Day for a number of years now. You've been a long-term supporter, uh, like our previous guests also. Um, and Trivium Packaging has been uh, supporting Peace One Day for three years now. Um, and so in that context, you're enabling these conversations around peace and sustainability. Can you talk to us a little bit about, about these conversations and why they're so important to you? Yeah, well, first of all, thank you, Frank, for the opportunity to have the conversation. Uh, I've known Jeremy for about a decade now and have been fortunate to see the great work that he's been doing over this past decade. Uh, for me, um, there's a couple major reasons why uh, I'm a huge supporter and Trivium's a huge, huge supporter. I mean, first of all, it comes down to a personal reason. I have five children. Um, you know, when I look at the world, I know that we only have one planet. And very simply, you know, I want my children to be able to breathe in fresh air. I want them to drink clean water. I want them to be able to eat healthy food. And I want them to be able to live in a safe environment. And I want that to be the case for not just my children, but for their children and for generations to come. Um, so that's really important to me, uh, number one. Uh, and the reason why that's so important is, let me take a very simple example. Let's just talk about everything that's going on in the world from all the geopolitical tensions to the climate change that we're seeing. It's not just whether one country's at war with another, but these actions can impact you personally. It impacted me. One of my daughters was at university and actually got shot at when she was driving uh, down a road. And so little things can, can make a big difference on someone's life. So number one, it's personal. Number two, from a Trivium standpoint, I mean, Trivium, we are a global leader in metal packaging. Uh, our products touch hundreds of millions of consumers every single day. We're focused on infinitely recyclable metal packaging. We've got 50 factories across over 20 countries globally. And for us, sustainability is at the heart of everything we do. So the reason why we've been partnering with Peace One Day is Jeremy has this unique ability to be able to galvanize and bring together governments, uh, NGOs, business leaders, activists, artists, all to create a conversation to promote uh, peace and promote sustainability for the world. So we're very, very proud to be a, a supporter of Peace One Day. Well, great. I mean, that makes two of us. And uh, and interestingly, we have more in common, I just learned, because we both have five children. And and that's in both of our cases, probably a, a key motivator of, of also uh, this conversation. But um, yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the benefits of, of an organization or specifically Peace One Day in this case. So, so, so talk to me more about the benefits that you've experienced. And how does that relate? How do these experiences relate to Trivium packaging? Yeah, I mean, the, the benefits that, 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 that we see in particular is um, to, to bring a, a awareness. It creates awareness um, for our employees in particular. Um, our employees want to be a part of an organization that has a greater purpose. And our purpose is to to really make packaging to shape the future to to make sure that we protect not just today but generations to come and being a part of peace one day enables conversations like that again we're focused on sustainability we know that there's one earth and the packaging that we make we want to be able to have products that not only protect things like food for example to eliminate food waste and all the resources that are involved in that but we want to make sure that our products can be recycled forever. And we know that they will continue to be in that loop and, and make a difference to consumers. So being involved in Peace One Day shows that we, we, we don't just talk about it. We walk the talk and, you know, it supports everything that, that we're doing as an organization. So you're, you're talking about protection, protection of, of people and, and protection very specifically of, of resources. Um, so, so how much of that is, is really, um, 
let's say, a, a part, a real part of your conversation and work during the day as a CEO of Trivium Packaging? Well, it's it's nonstop as a CEO. I recognize um, the responsibility that I have uh, as a steward of not only 7,500 employees, but the, the assets and resources that we have. And, you know, we do produce packaging and we understand that um, taking the raw material from metal to the water consumed to energy consumed in the in the factory makes a big deal. Now, as a CEO of a packaging company, I'll put it into packaging perspective, not only for our employees, but for all of the consumers out there. The decisions that we make every day um, have uh, grave consequences, positively or negatively. Every product that we use as a consumer um, has some sort of uh, packaging, most likely, whether it be paper, whether it be plastic, whether it be metal, whether it be some mixed use product. And what's important for us to make sure that we understand is that you know, each of those decisions we make have a, a different impact on, on the environment. So for example, we all know that plastic can be recycled, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't often get recycled. Um, we also know that it can only be recycled a few times um, and then it can't be recycled anymore. Whereas you have other materials like metal or glass, for example, that can recycle forever and ever and ever. So um, with One Earth, we know that it's critically important to work across our supply chain to ensure that we have the lowest carbon footprint out there. So, for example, with metal, each time you recycle metal, it only uses 5% of the energy as virgin metal. Now, what's important for us is to work all the way back to our metal producers and suppliers to be able to ensure that they have green steel or green aluminium. Uh, and then to make sure they're using as much recycled content as possible in the product so that we get to that infinitely recyclable loop uh, to lower the carbon footprint across the, the earth. So um, we're keeping that front and center with our employees, with, our, uh, with the consumers, and we want to make sure that we're making a positive impact on society. Yeah, no, that, 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 that is obviously a beautiful thing to, to strive for, to work on day on day. Uh, and it, it's interesting, you're talking about the impact of Trivium packaging, you know, on the world, on all the consumers that uh, and, and people they're touching. At the same time, you're talking about your 7,500 employees um, and you're touching their lives as well. And, and so can you talk to me a little bit, how aligned are your efforts between what you try to achieve with your employees and at the same time, what you try to achieve as Trivium, the organization that touches millions and millions of people. It starts, first of all, with um, setting the direction on the purpose of our organization. And that's to shape um, the future of packaging to ensure a, a better planet for everyone, not just today, but for generations to come. We're, imp we're, we're completely focused on metal packaging, as I said, and we uh set very ambitious targets we signed up for being a part of the the global compact um we've set science-based target initiatives um and we've um we've we're, we're on path to get to net zero by 2050 uh very ambitious targets we're actually ahead of plan right now we're working across our supply chain as i mentioned not just on our scope one and two uh emissions with which are uh within our our four walls we're ahead of plan on that but we are like i said working back throughout the supply chain particularly to attack the scope three which is the biggest part of our footprint now we've aligned our employees incentives around this as well we want them to be a part of actually uh making a difference and working with uh, help us to help find solutions but it's not just within our factory and within our organization. We want them to positively impact the communities that we operate in. So we do that collectively. So for example, top down, we set initiatives like Sustainable September, where each of our facilities work within the local communities to drive sustainability, to help clean up uh, the communities that they, they, they live in, whether it be picking up litter and recycling uh, to other initiatives. Um, so 
We're trying to get our employees involved, not just at Trivium, but actually positively impacting the societies and communities that they live in. Well, that that's, <laughs> speaks very much to, to my heart as well, uh, Michael. Um, it's interesting when you look at employees, they're human beings, right? And, and human beings have different roles, if you will. They have a role as consumer. You know, they consume themselves and maybe over consume or not. They have a role as citizens, you know, and, and, and uh, can think about the stance they take on social issues. They have a role as a species on the planet that, that we inhabit all of that. So how do you look at that as, as the CEO of Trivia? Do you try to encourage, educate, and motivate your employees in all these different directions? Or is it, as far as you're concerned, really focused squarely on sustainability and protecting resources? No, for us, um, you know, it, it's very much holistic. I mean, we're trying to set the tone of, um, you know, not just sustainability, but being, you know, at Trivium, a great place to work. I mean, we're focused on diversity, inclusion, um, and, and well-being in particular. So we we want our employees to have a great place to work that they're inspired to be a part of, that has a purpose that makes a difference in the world. Um, but we want our, our employees to be good people um, at the heart of it. We want them to do the right thing, uh, not only within the organization, not just, you know, between our suppliers, not just uh, with our customers, but we want them to be positive influences in the communities that they operate in as well. Um, we extend that even further. As I mentioned, we talked about Sustainable September, where we get the employees involved. We have family manufacturing days where we bring the uh, employees and their families into work so they can the kids can see what um, what 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 their parents do. I mean, the products that we make. I mean, you know, we, we're making uh, food cans. We're making aerosol uh, deodorant containers made out of metal packaging. We're making paint cans. We're making infant formula products. So we're making products that touch hundreds of millions of consumers every day, and our employees can see all of these on the on the shelves uh, when they go to the grocery stores or in their homes. Um, so, you know, it's a positive experience for our employees. Now, we also want them to do the little things. We want them to think about when they wake up in the morning, what are they doing? They have many decisions throughout the day that each individual actually has more influence than they think they have, right? So when they wake up, you know, it's a, a decision whether you turn on the light and then turn it off when you leave the room. You know, it's how much water you're using when you're taking a shower or brushing your teeth. It's, um, you know, things like whether you ride your bike uh, to work. We live in the Netherlands, so lots of folks have different uh, transportation op uh, options. So there's many decisions along the way that we make, and it's important for uh, us as um, uh, employees of Trivium to positively impact the world in, in every way that we can. Well, that, that, that's great. I have two more questions for you, Michael. One uh, is uh, is very specifically on, on your role. Our research at the Institute for Real Growth on, on how to drive positive change shows that it's incredible important that, that overperforming companies, companies to do that better, the leadership really role model the behavior. Can you talk a little bit about your role modeling and any words of encouragement to the audience when it comes to role modeling uh, to close up with? Well, I think it's critically important for the leadership to, to role model the behaviors that we want. I'm fortunate that um, not only uh, you know do we have a great team underneath me, but I have a very, very supportive board of directors that is completely aligned with the direction that I'm heading at uh, as a business. Uh, that's why, uh, number one, we set a, a broad purpose uh, for Trivium. And we got the employees around actually making a difference for uh, the greater good. We believe we can get better talent, we get an, a better engaged workforce, and we get better results uh, because of having a purposeful reason uh, for existence. But it's not just purpose, we have to walk the talk. And that's why I made sure that we signed up for ambitious net zero commitment targets with science-based target initiatives. That's why we've been absolutely relentless on 
actually getting um, Echo Vadis Platinum status. We're one of the, the few metal packaging companies in the world to get that two years in a row. And, and uh, Trivium's been around for four years now. Um, so, you know, we have to walk the talk as leaders. And, um, you know, I, I believe if we do that, then good things will come. Now, just to talk about results, in the four years that we've been together since Trivium, we've seen a significant uptick in our employee engagement uh, 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 results. So our employees are more engaged, our customers are more satisfied, and our results are better than they've ever been because of the things that we're doing. That is fantastic, Michael. Uh, we're at the end of our slot. I wanna thank you for your very convincing words, your motivation, keep up the great work. And Jeremy, thanks a million for hosting this conversation for us. Have a beautiful thank day. You, thank you, Jeremy.